Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, the premium channel that is free. Um, oh, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium. And I am a man. I'm a man, yes I am. And I love to be motivated. I love to be uplifted. And today we'll be talking about a TikTok account that is meant to do just that. Oh, what's this? It sucks, actually. It's like, a, it's one of those, like, what are they even fucking called? Like, uh, traditional men motivation channels, sexist content machines, beta and sigma males are ruining alpha male, alpha males. That's what they are. I don't know if this guy particularly identifies as an alpha male, but today we'll be discussing Randy Hussein, who's saying some upsetting shit. So I found out about Dear Randy uh, from a one of his TikToks that went like mega viral uh, in the worst way, like everybody was clowning on him, um, but for good reason. So we'll start with that and we'll check out the rest of his stuff after. But this, I think, is a great intro to Randy, who's saying some stuff. As a man, you need to hear this. Okay. As a man, that's me. I need to hear this. Okay, so like, what do you got to tell me, Randy? What are you going to tell me specifically behind ambient style emotional piano? As a man, you need to hear this. Stop chasing women who have less value to offer you than you have to offer them. What do I mean? What do you mean? Because the construct of this, of this TikTok now is that relationships are, you know, relationships are a give and take, but this man is like, relationships are a transaction and they need to be an equal transaction <laughs> to the scent. If it doesn't line up, then you got to break up. That's what, that's the saying. <laughs> I don't know how this could possibly get worse, but that's a lie because I do know that it's about to get worse and it's about to get very much worse, much, much worse, bad. What do I mean? You are chasing a woman with a used vagina. Uh, <laughs> um, what do I even say about this? That's fucked up. That's, that's my commentary. Don't. She's not a car. <laughs> like he's talking about it. Like she's a fucking, it's like, don't buy, don't buy a used car for more than it's worth. This car has miles on it. It's got a stain on the seats. Like Jesus Christ. These are human beings used. For Go fuck yourself. Use your brain, new brain, barely used a disrespectful mouth. Friends that are bad influences. And a woman who herself a disrespectful mouth for sure sounds like a controlling as hell uh, type of dude where they believe that a woman needs to be like subservient to a man, which is absolutely. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, God, he's <laughs> Randy's found me and he's invaded my lungs. You know, there are these people who just believe wholeheartedly that a man should be subservient to a woman. Sorry, they don't believe that. They believe a woman should be subservient to a man and they hide behind this um this umbrella of traditional values, traditional man. Like men aren't, you know, traditional anymore and that's a bad thing cuz men need to step up and be the alphas, you know what I mean? Well, I, I don't want to put words in his mouth. If she has bad manners. Now if she is coming with the use he really is talking about it like it's a it's a car thing. Like, oh, okay, no, if she's got um, if she's got a used, then you're probably gonna have to get the replaced. And I do know some body shops in the area that could do that, but it's gonna cost you, and it's not covered by your insurance. So, um, you might just want to go with a used, honestly, because replacing it is more expensive than just getting a whole new one. You know what I'm saying? The least that she could offer you is respect, peace of mind kind words, nourishment, and obedience to your word. This little piggy went to sexism. This little piggy went to toxic relationships. This little piggy went to therapy. Oh no, that piggy's dead. <laughs> Sorry. This is a lot of asks. I'm going to say it. All because she's coming to you with a used Well, look. Also, can I'm sorry. I'm going to stop saying used 
even as a joke about what he's saying that's the most like fucking rank <laughs> like awful shit so he's saying if a woman has had sex before she can't offer you much so she's at least got to offer you nourishment and kind words these are things that like uh mutual respect and like um peace of mind and things like that are kind of table stakes for a relationship but when you place them as like demands two people just need to decide what works for them and figure out what their own mutual exchange looks like. It's not like a recipe and it doesn't need to be counted on your fingers because you, you can't itemize the, the components of a relationship. Fellas, don't feel bad when y'all hear me say things like a woman should be obedient because she obeys the law, doesn't she? So she can obey her man. But anyway, what do you mean? But anyway, <laughs> hold on. She obeys the law. I don't think she's not a dog is another human being. You should not want obedience from another human being. Jesus fucking Christ. Ugh. But also his explanation for that as to why that's a reasonable thing to ask for a partner is she can obey the law so she can obey her man. Those aren't comparable things. You don't go to jail when you don't obey your man <laughs> you don't become a fucking cog in the prison prison industrial complex by not providing nourishment to your man that's just word association she can have an obey poster on her wall so she can obey her man she can work hard and be nice to people so she can work hard for her man Okay, she can buy a brand new car from the dealership so she can buy a brand new for her man. No, she can't do that, actually. We talked about it earlier. It's <laughs> That's not a thing that she can do. The one offering these women more value than they could possibly ever offer you. Which is, this man just like laid out all of his fingers talking about what the woman needs to offer him and gave zero things that he offers in the relationship he just talks about it like he's offering so much i don't even have to mention what i offer because that much is obvious i have a shirt and so that's what i offer i have a tiktok account i have ambient style emotional piano so when are y'all gonna realize that y'all are the prize? Let them chase you. Thinking about yourself as a prize, I think is a perfectly fine thing. You know, think it's okay to think highly of yourself to have self-confidence, cool. But in relationships, I don't think we should be thinking about other people as a prize to be won. I don't think it creates a healthy uh, relationship because it also contributes to like objectification, literally a trophy you know what i mean or a prize uh and then you're less thinking about the actual human being and more about the object and the role that object has in your life or how that is a marker of status or something like that and that is uh in my view as a man uh unhealthy and not good but that's randy who's saying some stuff his name's randy hussein so now that you've been introduced to old randy is he in his car <laughs> sorry I just noticed the seat. Is he in like a DX racer or is this like his car seat? I don't know. Anyway, let's look at some of his other TikToks to figure out like what else he's about. Cause I'm sure it's great. To men and to men only. Okay, okay. You why, okay, so first of all, why are you yelling? <laughs> and two, okay, it's to men only. So this is for me. It may not be for you. Sorry, but this one's for me. I'm just gonna enjoy a special personalized message from Randy. To men and to men only you are worthy of love thank you i agree a worthy of respect i am worthy of respect That's it. Yes. That's it. that was it that was it and that was a message just for men wasn't for women on this channel this is for men women sorry not worthy of respect uh did you say you have a used no, I, I can't. I can't keep saying that. He could have just said, you are worthy of love, you are worthy of respect in his loud ass voice, right? But he needed to say this is for men and for men only. In case you women got it in your head, you non-binary pals got it in your head that you are worthy of love and respect. Not in Randy's world, uh, but in my world you are.
In my world, you're premium. In my world, you're worthy of love. You're worthy of respect. Worthy of a good old time. So, Randy can't provide that. I can. Um, also, he is. It's morning, and he is in his car. <laughs> I, I don't know if he films all of his videos in his car, but that is where he is. If you are a man that has your woman around your male friends, this message is for you. Those are not her friends. Those are your friends. And certain lines should not be crossed or blurred. Some situations you have to keep personal and intimate, like your woman. I'm not saying keep her locked up in the house, but what I'm saying... Uh, I didn't think... Okay, why'd you have to clarify that? Don't have her all around your male friends because why you know what might happen what might happen might create a situation Unintentionally where your woman is now dealing with one of your friends behind your back or one of your friends is now Chasing and pursuing your woman behind your back and fellas this happens so often So you've diagnosed a problem, but the solution is entirely wrong in issues of trust the solution is not to like control your partner so that they can't, you know, it's like I'm training my dog. That's different, right? But to like control your woman's access. God, I can't, I don't like his fucking like verbiage, but to control your partner's access to your friends and stuff because you're afraid of, because you don't trust your friends and because you don't trust your partner, that's the problem. The problem isn't that somebody might do stuff behind your back. It's that you have no trust of the people around you. And that's maybe something worth looking into. Because I think that there are trustworthy people in this world. And maybe, you know, you need to have some conversations about why, with a therapist perhaps, about why you were so distrustful of everyone around you. Also, you're not going to find the partner who's for you by locking them in a, well, he said he doesn't lock them away, but by preventing them from having access to people that they may want to like, you know, be in a relationship with it's by identifying that maybe you are not compatible with one another and having open communication and, and, and trust. And, you know, if, if your trust is broken, then, you know, that is a grounds for like ending a relationship, but it's, you don't create a more healthy relationship by, by being controlling is what I'm trying to say. It's not something uncommon. Go and ask your, your, your woman how many of your friends have tried to hit on her. And it's not that your friend is a bad person and it's not that she's a bad woman, but you have created a situation where those two can coexist and you need to. That just means that there's no respect of your friends for your relationship or, or from your partner. It's like, yeah, very insecure advice. Also, what is this guy's bio? Number one on TikTok? Oh my God, he's an NFT bro too. He wants us to know that he got the Matrix NFTs. I like the Matrix too. I found some common ground with him. What a weird man. What an interesting character. With bad opinions. <laughs> Please watch Every this. Every time I share something uplifting. Did this man duet himself? <laughs> Wait. Wait, is that not him? No, that is him. I mean, he's in the car. <laughs> Why is he duetting? This is like a Drake move. This he, this guy kind of looks like Drake a little bit, and he looks like Drake plus The Weeknd plus a guy with an ugly personality. I got a question, and that question is, how come every time I share something... Dude, this guy, he always waits a few seconds, and then he comes in with ambient-style emotional piano to really hit you in the feels. Also, he is now driving while doing TikTok, which like, you know, people get banned on Twitch for. TikTok here has this action could result in serious in in injury. Don't do this. I got a question. And that question is, how come every time I share something uplifting men, it's a problem? How Okay, wait, just pause. I spilled coffee on myself. I know, I, I just did it. I just spilled coffee. So I'm gonna change. All right, and also my hair, I took off my hat. My hair's a little bit messy so we're just gonna avoid it okay we're just gonna not talk about it thank you very much um every time i share something uplifting men there's a group of people more so men that come and say what about women stop how come every time i share something uplifting men y'all try to take the shine away from men stop how come okay so wrong if people have a problem with you uplifting men it's that in order to 
uplift men, you are actively excluding and also putting down women and treating them as less than men, as subservient to men, as objects to be controlled by men. That's the issue. As a man who has a problem with your content, that's the, it's not, I wouldn't be making this video if it was like, oh, this guy just keeps going, men, we're awesome, which is weird, <laughs> but it's not like as weird as what he's doing or as bad as what he's doing. Every time I upload something uplifting men, y'all bring up all of the bad things that men have done to y'all or other people in y'all lives. Stop. Just like we uplift women and it's never a problem, we gonna uplift men. And y'all are gonna stop trying to bash us. I don't know which media outlet, I don't know which group, I don't- Dude, this guy is so oppressed. Uh, and why? By who? Literally, we're all minding our own business and then you're just going after women. And that's what people have a problem with. It's like, why am I- Why is no one letting me put down women? Stop! This is upsetting me. Stop. I can't trust my friends or my partner. Stop. Which person came and tried to tell y'all that being a man is not good, that being a man is not cool, that being a man is not right, but we are men. Okay. That's a, what is that? Straw man? You know, that's not what people are saying. Um, also, I spilled my coffee again. <laughs> I forgot that it was a faulty cup and uh, I, I'm not going to change again. And we going to uplift each other. I'm tired of you. I don't know why he yells so much. It's like, maybe it's an appeal to a certain type of person that's not me. Seems like I choose violence at night. Oh, wait. <laughs> what kind of Joker intro was that? Seems like I choose violence at night is like what the Joker says before he like lets bombs off in Gotham. <laughs> uh, it's okay for you to be feminine. I chose this because it doesn't seem like the worst idea. It seems like it could be... Con uh, commenting on toxic masculinity so i'm curious to see what how, what how he fucks this up seems like i choose violence at night for women and for women only it is okay so he's you know he does do both sides for women and for women only i let me predict it it's gonna be um it's gonna be it's okay for your man to be feminine that does not make him less of a man if you are a woman specifically a woman that i went on a date with Please do not judge me for the way that I wear my shirts, for the way that I like to do a bath bomb to relax after a long, hard day's work. Okay for you to be feminine. It is okay for you to turn down a threesome because you don't want to be involved in that. It is- What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was wrong. <laughs> I, I was wrong for a number of reasons. One, he's just talking to women. He's just talking to women. The it is okay for you to be feminine is to women. He's saying women, it's okay for you to be feminine, which was not uh, something that was a, a conversation, I don't think. Why is that? Why does he go from it's okay to be feminine? It's okay to say no to a threesome. Okay for you to submit to your man. It is okay for you to want to be a housewife without being judged by your peers. I know we live in a world where they are making y'all feel like you are a woman, but you have to act like a man. You have to behave like a man. You have to think like a man. So acting like a man means focusing on your career. I feel like it's, it's about the choice. And he's like half on it where he's like, it's okay to, if you want to be a housewife, then you can be a housewife. Yeah, it's, it's also, but the issue is that it's always been okay societally for a woman to be a housewife or to do jobs that are traditionally, you know, female held jobs. And what the whole point of saying, you know, it's okay to do these other things is not like it's okay to do a man's things. It's like we have boxed and pigeonholed women into certain roles, uh, gender roles. And we we're saying, we are trying to expand that to make for more equality amongst the binary genders, you know, you know gender is a spectrum. It's, it's, this is like this weird reactionary, like, it's okay to be traditional. They don't want us to be traditional anymore. It's okay for you to submit. It's okay. Women that I date, I ask them to be subservient to me. And they're like, it's not okay for me to be subservient. I'm supposed to have a career. And I'm like, no, stop it. Please be subservient to me. It's okay. Is that why that's, that's what I assume he's yelling about.
Why would, did he say the thing about the threesome? <laughs> I still don't. <laughs> that still seems like a bit of a non sequitur to me. I am here to let you know that you don't have to ascribe to the radical notion of what a woman should be. And you can be what you think a woman should be. It's like no shit. The fact that this man needs to be like telling people that they can be traditional is so funny to me. My point is that women should have the choice to do whatever the fuck they want to do. And they don't need, we don't need, you know, permission from, from Randy. Also, we don't need to imply that doing other things are less feminine. Being a gatekeeping girl boss doesn't have to be non-feminine. <laughs> you can be feminine in your own right, but I am here to let you know that it is okay to be feminine. So he like said nothing. <laughs> it's, it's like he repeated himself like five times and then said, it's okay to be feminine, but to women and women only. Oh, it's okay for you to be a man. I told y'all I chose violence today for men. <laughs> why does he, why does he start with a joker line every, every time he's, he's like, he thinks he's so cool. He's like, I'm going to go mask off in this TikTok." where I literally take off my mask at the beginning of the TikTok. Like you edited this. You ch you were like, oh, that's a cool intro. That's a cool intro. I'm going to say it's always darkest before light or whatever. And then like open up my mask and, and then spout some fucking sexist nonsense. And men only, it is okay for you to not like what she is wearing. No, it's not. It is okay for you to be jealous in the sense of being territorial. No, it's not. It is okay for you to put her in her place and not agree with everything that she is saying. Uh, put her in her place? No. No. It is okay for you to be a man. Again, he's in his car. Your iPhone microphone did not ask, what did it do to you? <laughs> like, I don't understand. Why are we yelling inside of a car? You're gonna get a good audio signal in the car. You kind of, you're in a enclosed space. It's kind of like recording in a closet. Probably gonna get some good, some good audio. Um, unless you yell and you fucking peek your microphone. I know you live in a society. Where I do. They make you think being a man is not okay. What? I, this is new. I didn't know that being a man wasn't okay. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. I'm so, I didn't know. I'm sorry, everybody. I was out here being a man, not knowing it was okay. It is okay for you to not want her to be out here dressing sexy for the entire fucking world. Oh my God. This is personal. <laughs> Holy shit. It sounds like he just got in an argument with his girlfriend and came down to his car to yell about it she was like putting on a sexy outfit to feel sexy and he was like oh no 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 he's like i need to talk to my microphone about this bro my sweet ro ro it's been so rough out here ro it when i tell you it's been so rough the dating scene oh my i'm about to put myself on blast i do not care listen i've been dating some good looking women they have the personality of this charcoal and every time i've been talking to them i'm like why can't i have a con this is like a rare peek behind the curtain we're now seeing the fuel that is firing his rage he's having a hard time dating and that's normal it's okay dating is tough for everybody but we do not find our partner by yelling in our car about sexist gender roles and about telling women how they should be and about telling men that they should treat their women like controlled objects that's not how we get there you you seem so affable when you're not in your car maybe get a new car <laughs> maybe it's like your car is like a trigger for something some rage some like joker like are you in the batmobile randy don't do your tiktoks in the batmobile get a corolla get a nice reliable car you could talk about the things you like rather than waxing poetic about how society has wronged men. Conversation with them, like how I used to have conversations with Ro. I'm like, that's the only thing that's missing. Rosiana, it's been rough. It's been rough. I was about to call you your full name. That's how rough it's been. I miss you so much. I miss you. He just wants a friend. He just wants a friend. He wants a friend and a partner.
He wants a pal and a confidant. Rest in peace, Betty White. It's so sad, man. He's just hurting. And that's okay. It's okay to hurt. And it tells me that there's like a, a person, a, a human, like behind the fucking hood and mask and car. <laughs> so if you ever watch this, Randy, it's not women's fault for anything. What's for you will come to you, Randy. And if it's not for you, then, you know, let it go because it's not going to serve you to, to try to create an environment where it stays simply by barriers that you've, you know, placed. That's my appeal to you, Randy. I hope, I hope the best for you. I don't think you're a horrible person, but I do think you're misguided. So, you know what? I'll end it there, actually. I hope this video helps someone. <laughs> just, just to keep an open mind and treat people with compassion. I, I would say don't control people. Don't advocate for controlling people. I think that's very toxic. That's very bad behavior because you'll never be able to control another person. And then you're kind of, you're projecting a lot of your own expectations onto another person, which is bad for both parties. It's bad for both parties. With that, I'm going to bid you adieu. Uh, <laughs> stay gold, everybody. And I'll see you later. All right.